everybody for today's read aloud we're going to switch it up and read a non-fiction book called gray squirrels and remember non-fiction means that the facts and information in the book are true while we're reading this i want you to kind of keep a lookout for different text features that you come that we come across All right so let's begin gray squirrels by gg lake So when I first begin in my nonfiction book, one of the first text features that I see is my table of contents. And remember my table of contents tells the reader where a chapter or a section begins. So looking at the table of contents, tree hoppers, which is my first section, begins on page four. Tree hoppers. So tree hoppers at the top is in bold and it is also looks like a title and this type of text feature is called a heading and headings tell us what the section will most likely be about so tree toppers a small rodent hops from tree to tree its long bushy tail keeps it balanced this tree hopper is a gray squirrel gray squirrels have gray or sometimes black fur Parts of their coats can be brown. Sometimes their bellies are white. Gray squirrels are found in Europe and North America. They live in woods, parks, and gardens. So if we look at our map, the orange, so North America and Europe, is where the gray squirrel lives. Woodland homes. Gray squirrel homes are called drays and dens. Drays are built high up in tree branches. They are made of leaves and sticks. Squirrels live in dens in winter. Dens are found in hollow trees. Squirrels stay warm inside dens. Finding food. Gray squirrels eat nuts, flowers, and tree bark. They bury some of their food in the ground. Squirrels eat this food in the winter. Staying safe. Squirrels have a lot of predators. Foxes, weasels, and hawks hunt them. Gray squirrels stay close to their homes to keep safe. Sometimes gray squirrels outrun predators. Their back legs are powerful. Gray squirrels can run up to 32 kilometers or 20 miles per hour. Baby squirrels. Female squirrels have two to eight babies twice a year. Babies stay with their mothers for two to three months. Then the young squirrels are ready to leave the dray. So that was the end of our information. We've come to the end of the book, the glossary. And remember, a glossary is like a mini little dictionary that tells us important word, the meaning of important words throughout our book. So for example, the word balance means keep steady and not fall over. So if you were, while we're reading this book, if we were uncertain about a word, we can look in the back in the glossary and find out its meaning. So there's just some more information about some websites that we can go to. And then also at the end of a book is another text feature called the index. And an index has topics that were covered through the book and tell you what pages they were on. So for example, if I just wanted to know how squirrels run, I might look for run or running and find out that it's on page 18 and then I would flip back to 18 and look at just at the running section. That way that I don't have to keep reading back through the book just to find that one question, answer to the question I have. All right. So that was a nonfiction book called Gray Squirrels.